The expansion of Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin has been held back once more by German bureaucracy, as a vote to approve the project has been postponed. But it's still expected to happen by the end of the year. Tesla's experience building Gigafactory Berlin and Gigafactory Texas at the same time has set the tone for the company's future factory projects. Here's everything we know. First things first, a little background on Tesla's Gigafactories. Tesla has six factories around the world as of 20. 2022. The Fremont factory is the company's first manufacturing location. Thanks to a collaboration with Panasonic, they produce lithium-ion batteries at the original Tesla Gigafactory, Giga Nevada. Giga New York manufactures solar panels rather than electric vehicles. The fourth is Giga Shanghai, Tesla's first factory built outside of the United States. For nearly a year and a half, this factory in China has been producing electric vehicles. The final two facilities, Giga Texas and Giga Berlin are still under construction. Tesla will be able to expand its lineup and double its manufacturing capacity thanks to ongoing construction sites in Austin, Texas and Berlin slash Grunheit, Germany. Tesla's rapid expansion indicates that a couple more Tesla factories will be built this decade. Moving on, Giga Berlin is ramping up productions. Tesla is currently increasing production at Giga Factory Berlin from 1,000 vehicles per week to a goal of 5,000 vehicles per Per week by the end of the year, but the automaker has much higher ambitions for the facility. Tesla is aiming for annual production of 2 million in 2023, ahead of a long-term goal of annual production in the domain of 20 million, as both its new Grunheit and Texas Gigafactories ramp up production. Even though Tesla didn't give any numbers to back up their confidence, a local outlet, Automobilwoche, reported that 1,000 cars were being built per week during Germany's summer, which accounts for around a tenth of full capacity, indicating that the continued ramp-up of Model Y production was going very well. Next up, with their increase in production, how is Giga Berlin going to make space? The U.S. electric vehicle manufacturer already has 300 hectares of land for its auto assembly factory and battery plant under construction. But in order to support further expansion of the capacity, Tesla has planned to add constructions on 100 more hectares. This land will be utilized to build additional logistics and storage areas, a train station to allow for the delivery of components and export of cars, and social facilities such as a daycare center. Tesla applied in May to build on a further 100 hectares and launched plans for a 100 hectare expansion at Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg earlier this year. As per RBB's report at the time, the company plans to acquire east of its plant in the Berlin Brandenburg metropolitan region, which would expand the site's area by a third. Moving on, Tesla Information Day gave people a bit more insight on the expansion. Some six months after the opening of Tesla's first electric vehicle assembly plant in Europe, the US EV maker organized an Information Day event at the Grunheit German facility on September 11. Over 5,000 people attended the Open Door event, and it allowed participants to ask questions about the factory's logistics concept, water supply, protection of the environment, and water bodies, planned battery cell production, planned expansion of the area, and more. Tesla employees provided information on all these topics, and visitors were also offered test drives, and their kids were given mini Tesla. Next up, what was Tesla's response to all the environmental concerns? Tesla claimed that reducing freshwater consumption at the factory remains a key objective for them. According to the company, about 2.2 cubic meters of fresh water is used for the manufacture of each car, and the figure already includes the planned in-house battery production production in Grunheim. They explained that consumption would be reduced by using hybrid cooling towers or dry cleaning of system parts, among other solutions. Giga Berlin Bredenberg's 2.2 cubic meters of fresh water per car is significantly below the industry average of water consumption, which Tesla says is almost 4 cubic meters of fresh water per vehicle. Another update offered during the Information Day event was about the opening of a train shuttle to the plant, which is scheduled for spring 2020. The train station would allow for 12 pairs of trains per day, resulting in significant environmental and traffic relief. Tesla also announced that beginning in the summer of 2023, a new shuttle train will run directly from Erkner to the factory, up to 40 times per day, with a capacity of 400 passengers per train. Finally, let's talk about why the expansion hasn't begun yet. The expansion project was supposed to be presented to Grunheit, the city near Berlin, where the Gigafactory 
factory is located, but Arnie Cristiani, the mayor of Glunheit, confirmed that it had been postponed after the local municipal council removed the application from the agenda of its September meeting. It looks like a vote on the approval of the expansion is still expected to happen this year, and just like in the original project, regulators often ask Tesla for more information, which ended up creating several delays in the approval. While it's not exactly clear what the other information the local council needs from Tesla to move forward with the automaker's expansion plans, it's possible that Russia's move to cut off gas supplies to Europe in general, and Germany in particular, are causing Cristiani to reconsider approving a plan that will undoubtedly necessitate the use of energy. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has previously stated that his gigafactories and electric vehicles will be manufactured as sustainably as possible. Still, it'll be difficult for Tesla to avoid the factory shutdowns that are sweeping Germany. The announcement comes just days after Tesla held an information day at the facility, during which the company stated that the factory's production ramp-up was going very well, without providing specifics. It's unclear at this point if this delay in the approval for Giga Berlin's expansion is going to impact Tesla's timeline to ramp up production. Now, onto other tech-related news. First up, what the mini budget means for UK tech. The September 2022 United Kingdom mini budget was a set of economic policies announced on September 23, 2022, by Chancellor of the Exchequer, Kwasi Kwarteng. Although it was not an official budget statement, it was widely referred to as a mini budget by the media. Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng unveiled a raft of measures aimed at stimulating growth in the UK economy. In today's mini-budget, which has been broadly welcomed by the UK's tech and investor communities, the mini-budget is Prime Minister Liz Truss's first major fiscal event, and it comes as individuals and businesses face rising energy costs, rising inflation, and a looming recession. Truss has stated that her top priority is to spur growth through tax cuts for individuals and businesses, as well as deregulation. Economists have expressed concern that the personal tax cuts disproportionately benefit the wealth and that the Chancellor didn't request an independent assessment of the mini-cost budget and impact. The tax cuts are expected to cost £45 billion by 2026 to 2027, while an additional £72 billion in debt is planned for this fiscal year. Despite this, many of the measures outlined in the mini-budget have been welcomed by the business community, such as the cancellation of the planned increase in corporation tax to 25% next year. Next up, Microsoft has unveiled new research and technology to bridge the disconnect between leaders and employees. Microsoft Corp recently published a Work Trend Index Pulse report titled Hybrid Work is Just Work. Are we doing something wrong? The company also went on to discuss Microsoft Viva, a platform focused on energizing and empowering employees during a possible economic downturn. The data shows that hybrid work has resulted in a growing disconnect between employees and leaders. They disagree on what constitutes productivity how to maintain autonomy while ensuring accountability, the advantages of flexibility, and the office's role. To bridge this gap, a new approach is required that recognizes work as an experience that must transcend time and space in order for employees to remain engaged and connected no matter where they work. A new home experience in Viva Connections will bring all the Viva apps together in one place to help employees catch up on work, meetings, and learning. The Viva briefing email will be updated to include more more personalized productivity recommendations to assist employees in catching up on work, meetings, and learning. Customers will be able to use the new Viva capabilities beginning in early 2023. Last up, Tesla ordered to recall more than a million U.S. cars. Tesla, the American multinational automotive and clean energy company, is recalling nearly 1.1 million cars in the U.S. because the windows might close too fast and pinch people's fingers. Documents produced by American regulators show that the windows may not be reacting correctly after detecting an obstruction as they slide up. Tesla chief executive Elon Musk criticized the description, calling it outdated and inaccurate. While the car giant says a software update fixed the problem, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration believes the fault is a safety standards violation. The world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer has had similar repeated run-ins with federal safety regulars, who Mr. Musk has called the fun police in the past. The latest recall that the company made covers all four Tesla models, specifically 2017 to 2022 Model 3 sedans, some Model S sedans, 2020 
to 21 Model Y SUVs and Model X SUVs. Tesla discovered this problem with the automatic windows during production testing back in August. Owners will be notified by letter starting from the 15th of November. Company documents show that vehicles made by Tesla after the 13th of September already have the updated software needed to fix the issue. That's a wrap for this video. See you in the next one.